Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode two of the story of a <clears throat> of a man turned into a pig. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. She just looks like a little damn puppy. I can't. <laughs> yeah, oh, psh, bullshit. <laughs> Sure, pig. Sure. Oh, that was a short walk. I'm thinking like, damn, I'm going on long as a bitch. <laughs> Take like two or three days. <laughs> What's up? Never been on a trip. Oh my god. Well, we can count this as a trip. Hmm? Yeah, especially if I have people with guns in the front. Oh. Are you sure you want to go down there?
Yeah, it makes sense. I, I think anybody would freak out over a talking pig, but then at the same time, they possibly want to go and steal a talking pig. Okay, if you're so sure. <laughs> yeah it's not really a good bargain mm -hmm. So, of course, he wanted to scam you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But honey, Jess, you gotta suspect anybody who calls you out. Yeah, you would have been, mm-hmm.
No, 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 I don't think... <laughs> Okay, so that's why. Sorry, it's okay. You did it all for him. Aww. Oh, he wants to cut and do the head pat. Oh, it's so fucking cute. Oh, oh my God, stop it. How though? You are big. He gonna find a way though. Figures. But see, if he does it for her, he has to do it for everybody else. Tomorrow. Of course. Huh? But then how 
are you going to get back to her? Like white. <laughs> right, so then why would you say that? I'm about to do some Dance Dance Revolution shit. <laughs> some Beat Saber. Get that max combo, baby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. We don't need that. I'll be fine. <laughs>
Yeah, how are you going to escape? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to see it, are we? Of course not. They're like, nah, you got to wait till next week. I would have loved to see him escape. But yeah, it does make me wonder how he is going to escape and such. But <laughs> it's going to be like the cutest little reunion next week. <laughs> but of course, the highlight is having this damn big new dance dance revolution. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking either one or two things is going to happen. We're going to see some DDR or we're going to see like Beat Saber in a weird way. And then what they did to the clothes and then load it back up with the fucking errands. <laughs> oh my God. That bring back memories. So many fucking memories of having so many friends over playing that damn game. And then you, you have that one friend or several friends who don't have the greatest rhythm. And you tell them, don't stomp on the freaking dance pad. And they stomp on the damn dance pad. And you're like, didn't I just fucking tell you? Oh my God. Feel like lightly, lightly. Now, if I had one of the metal ones, then yeah, you could do all that ish. But the metal ones are so fucking expensive. But... What I have heard, they're worth it. Now, I love the fact that he, like, literally told her, yeah, let's not go down this route of going, you know, back alley, trying to buy something, you know, for 150 or even 400 for something that is already used. Yes, thinking about something that is already used or refurbished and stuff, yeah, there are good and bad things of buying those and such, but, of course, if she had taken it, used it, and found out that there wasn't as much juice and stuff and she takes it back. Of course, like that guy is the guy who sold it to her, um, literally would have not given her money back. That's a bargain for him. And you know, once you sell something like that, oh, like they say, mm -mm, absolutely no refunds, no returns, or anything necessary. Almost like once you buy the item. So I, I'm happy that he was able to figure out, oh yeah, this is clearly a scam. Like, just I don't think you should do this. And he did the right thing of trying to get her away from him because if she had a stay, then yeah, she possibly would have bought it and her predicament would have gone even worse. But yeah, now the question is how in the world is he going to escape from this dude and how is she, uh, how are they going to get back together and such and meet up at the big tree? Of course, we're not going to see that till next week, but like anything is possible. I mean, this is freaking Kibito we're talking about. Boy is going to have like this big grand plan or, you know, he just might just think of something very last minute. <laughs> we just won't know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode two of the story of a man turned into a pig. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode three. Bye, guys.